Hello, my name is Bill. I'm the pastor at Freedom's Lutheran Church in Gibbsville, North Carolina. Thank you so much. I truly do appreciate you joining me for this moment of devotion. As I was getting going today, I was thinking about uh, the challenge that it is to take one day at a time, just deal with life moment by moment. So often I find myself, and perhaps you do too, taking on way more in a day that's meant to be for that day. It's like I'll think of a problem that I need to solve. And then I think to myself, if I do this, <clears throat> well, then this might happen and I need to solve this problem. Or if I do that, then this might happen and I need to solve that problem. And then if I do that, there'll be a problem after that and a problem after that. And the next thing you know, I have a whole month's worth of problems all piled into that one moment. And if you're anything like me, and I believe you probably are, you'd much rather look, look and find a forever fix, something that will deal with the whole shebang in one fell swoop so that you don't have to deal with that particular problem anymore. But truth of the matter is, uh, troublesome circumstances, relationships, they rarely work out the way that we plan. We do our best, uh, but you know we do one thing and then something else crops up, something that was completely unplanned. So what do we do? What do we do? You know, God is so good to us, and God wants us. <clears throat> God wants us to truly depend on God, and so like Israel in the wilderness, whom God fed every day with enough manna to, to not only keep them alive, but help them to live and thrive. God gives us the same kind of help. God gives us enough help for the problems of today. God oftentimes doesn't necessarily give us a fix that'll fix the whole shebang and the problems for many days. No, instead what God does is something really unique. God gives us what we need for the moment, and then usually that moment, that troublesome circumstance, diminishes the next day. Or the problems that we think we're going to encounter, they might even be completely gone, all because we paid attention to how Jesus was leading us right then and there at that moment. All because Jesus partners with us and we partner with our Lord to approach each day as he would have us approach it. So if my friends, I would like to ask you simply and join me today in dealing with life moment by moment. Let today's troubles be enough for today. Trust that God is your refuge and your strength. And like I already indicated, or like I already hinted at, if we take care of today's problems today in partnership with our Lord, tomorrow's problems might not even, the ones we anticipate, might not even be there. I'm reminded of Psalm 62 verse 8, which reads like this. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is is a refuge for us. God is your refuge. God is your strength. Trust him as you move into each moment of today. Thank you so much for joining me for this time of devotion. You can look at other devotions at our website, www.freedens.church, F-R-I-E-D-E-N-S, freedens.church. You can also see our written devotions um, on our Facebook page. That is, uh, to, find, to access that, you have to look up Freedoms Lutheran Church ELCA, and you'll be able then to, to read a very different style of devotion. God bless you. I hope you have a great day, and God willing, I look forward to spending some time with you tomorrow.